Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to Real Talk with Fessel Golden. My name is Fessel Golden. This is my channel where we talk about trans issues, LGBT issues happening around the globe, what we experience, anyone that catches my attention, I talk about it. And today we'll be talking about a sad story of a lesbian girl in Ghana. I hope it, it educates you guys, it sends you guys a warning signal how to be careful in our society. Let's dive into the topic. Remember, if it is your first time, remember to subscribe. Remember to hit the notification bell and um, welcome to my channel. I hope you have fun. I hope you enjoy my videos. And always remember to drop your comments because there's a new thing I'll be doing right now. I'll be reading out the comments of my viewers. Golden. So two days ago, the, the, oh, yes, two days ago, this story circulated online of a lesbian girl, a masculine lesbian girl who was drugged and raped by two guys for two days or for days. She doesn't know where she is and right now she's at the hospital. She's traumatized. I don't want to post a picture. I'm going to post a picture. You could, I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to post a picture so you see because it's, it's already online, her pictures. Or else left for me, I would have decided not to post her pictures just to save her the stress of seeing that online because anything that is on the internet would last forever but since it's, it's already circulating on online i would post the picture so you see her she's a very gorgeous lesbian girl very gorgeous masculine and beautiful and uh, very cute <laughs> and then um to be raped by two guys drugged and raped it's very painful it's something i think the, and the, the the worst part of it is the society we live in coming from Ghana there's no justice for her she won't get justice how would she get justice for what has what has happened to her she she's depressed right now her mental state is really down and these things happen to all of us in this community we get raped the last time I spoke about a friend who was attacked and someone came to tell me you don't um I, I spoke about an experience i had when i almost got raped and blackmailed by some guys and if someone came to comment and said came to the comment section and said um if you want to be a woman behave like one don't go in don't go to visit guys we can't you can't tell who is dangerous in our community you can't tell who hates you and who likes you most lesbian girls have been raped by their male friends who come who come to them as male friends they have trust on these guys and this guy tell you let's have a drink and you go hang out to have a drink and they rape you most trans girls have been raped and killed by guys who came pretending to be in love with them guys who came pretending to to want to be with them guys who made them feel comfortable and secure at the end of the day they had bad plans and interior motives this girl to drop the voice note from the voice note. Let's 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 listen to the voice note first. <laughs> I was drunk. I'm at um, a clinic. I went to the hospital. I need help. I need help. I need help. You guys, come for me. Come to my aid, please, please, please. I need emergency help. Anybody who knows me, anybody who is seeing this right now, please come to me. Please come, 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 come. I'm not safe. I'm not safe. <laughs> I don't remember anything that happened to me. The last thing I remember is waking up was it's, it's been at a friend's place on Sunday. I'm okay, okay, okay. 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 So, uh, I, I've written my number down there. Please just contact me. I contact me. Thank you. Please contact me, please. Did you hear her voice? Did you hear the tone in which she's using, pleading and begging for help? She's somewhere around the sea. If you're in Ghana, you're an LGBT ally or you're an LGBT person who wants to help her. At this point, I need she I think she needs all the help she can get. She needs all the comfort she can get mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. Everything you can do to help her. Because it's really it's if she's not strong enough, this this is one of the this is one of the, the things that could cause that could cause suicide. That could push push someone to committing suicide. These are one of these things. One of those things. Being raped, drugged and raped for two days. You don't even know. She says she didn't she doesn't know where she is. She doesn't know where where where, where it's even happened. 
I've had stories of my friends who have been who have been who have been raped by friends, guys who were friends with them, raped them mercilessly, left them, and called them to tell them to to, to forget about what happened and assume it was in the past. They can't even demand for justice. What do you tell the police? I'm a lesbian girl and they drugged me and raped me. Even she being a lesbian, it's easy for her to even report to the police for sexual abuse and rape. If she knows the guys and know how to find them. But for trans people, how do you start explaining to the police? As trans people living in Africa, we don't have access to surgeries. We hardly get hormones, we go through hell to get our hormones. How do you start proving your gender to the police? Before talking about the rape issue, the police would have gone aside the case and, and said you were, you were gay who went to so seduce them and got raped. You got what you deserve. Most, that is what they say in society. When you get raped, people say you, you're not a victim, you got what you deserve, you looked for it. I saw a comment on, on, on one place where the person said, I don't know why I didn't screenshot this comment, it was so painful, where the person said they, they were ripping out the lesbian spirit in her. How can you rip out the lesbian spirit in someone? How can you be heartless enough, heartless enough to go and comment on the, such a situation that they are trying to rip the lesbian spirit in the girl, rip out the lesbian spirit. The same thing the society will say about us, Transgenders and gay people who get raped. They're trying to rip out the gay spirit in them. I've, ha I've heard stories of 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 group of girls raping a gay boy because they try to correct his sexuality. It happens a lot in Africa. We can't deny it. It's happening every day in our society. And I believe it's happening around the world. It's happening in different countries and societies. When would the, when would, when, when would the authorities set out rules and regulations in the constitution that will help protect us from sexual abuse. When will the law enforcement agencies, the, the law enforce, enforcement agents put in place good safety space for us to be able to find refuge under the law, to be protected by the law, to avoid us being sexually abused every day in different countries and societies. This is something very painful. It's painful talking about it. I'm trying not to cry because I don't want to ruin my makeup because I'm going out for an event. I have an event in two hours and I don't want to ruin my makeup. But it's painful. In this event, I'm going to be talking about trans issues, trans lives and visibility. I know what will be going through my mind. The, the hardship, the pain, the struggle we are going through in our society. Sexual abuse, demonizing us, pushing us under the rock every day. I see if nothing is happening to us. People think we call people, we seduce people to rape us. People think we are overly sexually active in our community. People should understand that when someone says no, it's no, you don't have to force them. Not all gay people, lesbian people, transgender people want to have sex every time. When they say no, it's a no. You don't have to go to the extent of drugging the person and not just you, you and your, your friend or whoever planned this, sleeping, raping her for days. Not even for hours and letting her go. For days. It's inhuman. How would you how would you sleep with your conscience knowing you've done this to somebody? How would you feel comfortable knowing that you've you might you might have pushed someone to committing suicide? You might have you might have destroyed someone mentally. Because any day she looks back and remember the scar you've placed in her. It's not an external scar. You've placed a scar inside of her that she'll carry on for the rest of her life. Blaming herself, thinking it was a fault. Blaming herself, thinking she made a mistake being who she is. Questioning her, 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 her humanness. Questioning who she is. Questioning if she's doing the right thing. Questioning if there's something wrong with her. It's wrong. Let's say no to sexual abuse. Let's say no to rape. If you want to have sex with someone, ask nicely. If they like you and they want to have sex with you, 
that is for them and that is for you. If they say no, let them go and look for someone who likes you and who is interested and attracted to you. Everybody in this life, in living in this world, has a partner or so someone who will be attracted to them. No matter how you look, you're short, you have someone who likes short people. You're skinny, you like someone who likes skinny people. They will be attracted to you. Just go for people who are attracted to you. Let it be in a consent way of, in a consensual way. Do not have to force someone and rape the person. You're also destroying your future because if this girl really has your information and is able to get justice, imagine the, the time you're going to waste in jail, saving for, for, for that crime. That you would have, that, that's how, how many minutes pleasure you got. You would have avoided and used this time in jail to plan your future. You'd have achieved something fighting for your future. Does this happen in your society? Or have you experienced rape as a lesbian, as a transgender, as a gay person? You, you're not able to get justice because you know when you run to the police, they're going to tell you it was your fault. Or they're going to turn the case around and you'll be the one who's going to be in jail or being, or being detained. Or they'll try to just block out the case just for who you are. If you've experienced this, you can drop it in the comment section. If you know someone who's experienced this, you can drop it also in the comment section. I don't want to talk too much today. It's really painful. And for the comment I'll be reading um, um, from Alpha 621. Alpha 621, my last video said, the main reason there's a problem with LGBTQ is simple. And if you don't think, and if you don't think so, see a film here on YouTube called God Loves Uganda. The name of the, the name of the problem is religion. Take care of it, so you're, you're, you're reasonable safer in Europe, which is true, I'm safer in Europe, than in Africa or America, which is true, I don't want to go to America because transgenders are being killed every day in America. I fear for my life. Oh, both religions have, unlike, I don't know, he said every other thing, but his point was the problem we're having in our, with the LGBT community being accepted in our society is religion, which is true. Religion is black blackmailing and brainwashing people emotionally and spiritually to, to feel that LGBT people are the evil people. Meanwhile, the evil people lie within their circle. I leave you guys with a question today. Are you mentally okay? Have you gone through something that you need to speak about? If yes, I want to see your, let's have a discussion in the comment section. Because mentally, we are all not okay. We try to be okay, we pretend to be okay, we smile every day. But sit down and ask yourself this question. Am I mentally okay? See you guys same time next week. My name is Vessel Golden. Remember to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Drop your comments and like my video. Thank you guys for watching and thank you Raphael629 for your people traveling. Thank you guys. Everything. Bye.